第四十一对表演题目是 Why not give it a try? 计时开始。Hi, we haven't seen each other for a long time. I heard that you majored in Southeast Asia Studies. It's so special. But why did you choose that? I think the future there is promising. So, are you going to join an exchange program? No. I'm going to join a program held by Youth Development Administration. What's that? They are finding youth to go to new southbound countries. Look, they are total 18 countries like Thailand, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and even Australia and New Zealand are included. Cool. What is the program about? In the program, you can get to know the cultural differences by attending some meetings and interviews. What's the best? You can experience the local life there. Welcome to Southeast Asia store. Take a look by yourself. Let me make some tea for you. Oh, and remember, never touch the umbrella for something unexpected might happen. Why can't we touch it? There must be a reason. Hey, what do you think might happen? Something spooky? Maybe it's just pretty delicate. Hey, just leave it alone. That's OK. I'll be careful.
I displaying the convenience of the modern world? Me? I'm still not sure what's going on, but what you said interested me. Maybe I can use Thai traditional icons from my homeland. Excellent! Southbound countries, our treasure is far from reach, but near at hand. As new generations, we should step out of our comfort zone and take some adventures. Based on tradition, we can increase interaction, inspire creation, and, and cultivate our new vision. The 42-day表演题目是 Create a win-win situation from share. 计时开始. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Becky. Welcome to the New Southbound Policy Exchange Fair. Today, we have such a great honor to invite three representatives. Each of them are Nidaya from Thailand. Hello. Sadika, I'm Nidaya. Ho Ching from Singapore. Hi, I'm Ho Ching. And Charlotte from New Zealand. Hi, I'm Charlotte. Now, let's welcome Nidaya. Hello. Do you know that agricultural land in Thailand are up to 130 million hectares, and our main crop is rice? There's many kinds of rice, right? Which one is yours? Yes, and our most famous rice is James Rice. We even see a national rice office in 2005. It improves and endorses the Thai rice. See and smell it? Welcome to try it. Wow! Did you catch the smell of jasmine? It smells so good. So good. It also has a little taste of natural plant. Of course. We are really proud of our rice. Come and buy it. Wow, I can't believe that you have such a good technology to make the delicious rice. Your people are so lucky to have such tasty rice to eat every day. Thank you. Hey, how can you order it? Oops. Hi. That dress made me think of own country also confront a serious problem with the waste. Do you have any good way to solve it? Mm. Oh, I've heard that Taiwanese government is promoting recycling and incinerator operating, which is world famous. It not only helps solve the garbage problem, but also increases the energy development. Look at these buckets. Let us invite Becky to tell the details better. Many years ago, we began to carry out the concept of environmental protection. Even since childhood, we cultivated began to establish a good habit of sorting the trash, like paper, plastic, glass, and so forth. So far, to raise more people awareness to do a good job of recycling of resources, we've even introduced a machine of recycling that can exchange the trash for money. Wow, that's amazing! We really should learn from Taiwan, and our garbage problem will be reduced some days. Are there any questions that other countries are facing now? <gasps> What's What's happened? Happened? Our country has been facing a shortage of water continuously. We have always relied on the rainfall that comes from typhoons to get enough available water. This year, something's gone wrong. What's, What's wrong? wrong? Because not many typhoons came. Is there a way to solve water scarcities? Hmm. Oh, in our country, although the rainfall is sufficient, we lack reservoirs to store fresh water, what? which causes our country to be classified as one of the countries with a serious lack of water resources. Ha <laughs> ha! But now, we can get rid of the congenital water shortage survival challenges. Really? How does that work? Calm down. I'll tell you everything I know. We have forests to solve water shortage now, such as rainwater collection, neighboring countries to buy water, fresh water, and destination. Look at you guys all trying us to regulate your brains on the issue of the water. Now, I will give you a newly developed of a guinea pig, Water 2017, which can bring one of the typhoon resuscitation, and it also can be used for several times. As long as, as I say, RAN! Oh. Here you are. Thank you. I'll make good use of water 2017. Hope the problems of water shortage will be solved as soon as possible. Wow, the technology is so advanced now. Mm. Now it's my turn to share it. 
Cheese agriculture is well developed in our country. So are rich minerals. Look, this is the milk just brought from New Zealand. It smells so thick and nice. Please come here and try some. Wow, wow it's, it's so, so mellow. mellow. We rely on frozen techniques, and then we can bring the freshest one to give everyone to taste. From now on, stop worrying about the problem of our country. Just drink milk and relax. Wow, how time flies. It's time to say goodbye. Oh. I believe through this exchange meeting, the good teamwork will be better between us. Teamwork! Let's say thank you to everyone. Thank you for watching. 第四十三对表演题目是 The Flying Doves to the South. 计时开始。Hello, Mom. I got some bad news. I received a first level demerit from my teacher today. Actually, I was wondering when will you be back home so we can discuss what would be the best way to make it disappear. Okay. Hey, hey, Mom. Are you still there? What do you want me to do? You're acting so strangely today. You always yell at me when this happens. And actually, I I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Hey, Mom. I want to tell you something important. Do you have time now? Seriously? You are doing drugs this time at school. You have really broken my heart. You have always been nice and clean kid before. Mom, my friends are little ghost stuff. Peer pressure. You don't understand. If I don't, they call me coward. Young lady, you don't seem to realize my pressure that there are many things my income needs to cover. Actually, I got something to tell you too. I was forced to leave my job with little severance pay. I'm jobless. Show! Sure. I can't believe those fat guys from China did that. So what should we do then? Uh, um, we can find a job in Taiwan or beautiful motherland. Uh, I promise I will turn over to be a new leaf too, to be a better person. But mom, how can you find a job? We have left Taiwan for so many years. How many years? 15 years. We have left Taiwan for 15 years, but um, that's all right. I'm saving the bank. Guess I'm sleep now. I'm going to write some money to the bank tomorrow. Okay, night, mom. relationships with Dazian countries and other nearby countries. Also, human talent is the key to the policy's success. Look over there! Where is it? There, Mom. There. No, here. No, Mom, there. it's there. May I help you sing lost? Yes, I'm lost. Uh, where is the exit? I've been away for 15 years and it has really changed a lot. Mom, we got a shopping area, special food court, and both snacks. Taoyuan International Airport also provides a 24 hour service. Whoa, wait a minute. So, this is the first time you have been to Taiwan? Yeah, I have no idea about Taiwan. 
Well, let me tell you something. We've just finished our studies in Manila lately, and we've been considering if we should stay there or come back to Taiwan. Yep, and guess what we decided to do? We decided to come back due to the new southbound policy. Now, ladies, why don't we get something to eat and talk more about this? Sure! to do after graduation. We have some money now, and we want to open a travel agent. A travel agency? Oh, my dream is to travel all over the world, especially Indonesia. Ah, Indonesia. Girls, listen. Did you know a Taiwanese health and safety team stationed in Indonesia successfully stopped the spread of the disease there? Taiwan's agrotechnological strand has helped secure the business of Southeast Asia. Look. Wow, that's amazing! Thailand is a major market for Taiwan's agricultural machinery, sprayers, and low mowers. We also wish to promote exchange student programs to make our own education better. We're working on our startup and also looking for some R&D talent. I think with your experience, you're a perfect fit. But I'm worried that due to the complex process of visa, we will have trouble attracting visitors. There's now a visa waiver for almost six countries and for Muslim countries too. Now we have free passes and we have our own companies. Wow, we know it, haven't we? The A Future for Us All. Come in. Mrs. Chan, this is our sales report this month. Please take a look. Excellent job, Julian. Thank you. By the way, are we going to dump the wastewater in the river as scheduled at the midnight? Of course. Just make sure no one sees that. Yes, Mrs. Chan. Come in. Mrs. Chen, can, can I take one week off? It's my wife. She is sick and I have to take care of her. Okay, but you know, it is an unpaid leave, right? I know. And when you come back, you have to work extra hours for a time you missed. Okay, you may go. Hey, wait. My son Pa is flying here from Taiwan to visit me. I want him to learn from me how to run this company. After all, he's going to be a boss one day. So remember to pick him up at the airport this evening. Yes, Mrs. Chen. Ouch, who did that? Who are you? Why are you in my office? I'm the robot cat from the future, Dora Bimon. You, woman. Listen, I came to warn you because your company is going awfully wrong. What do you mean? We're one of the most successful Chinese companies here. But you are running it in a way that wouldn't last long. You discharge wastewater, untreated, polluting the environment seriously, and you are not paying your workers properly. That's a common practice here in Vietnam. But it's not a practice that you should adopt. You're exploiting the people and the environment. Enough, I don't talk about this. I need to show you something. Time machine! Come, let's see what will happen to your son, Pa Chen, 20 years later. What are you doing? Come. Let me go! Where am I? What's the smell? <coughs> Something's burning. <coughs> We just said this fire. We want revenge on these bullies. Revenge? For what? Wait, you look like the evil owner of this burning factory, Paul Chen. Are you related to him? Uh, of course not. <laughs> I'm Vietnamese like you. Then you should know we are protesting against the Taiwanese owned companies. Since Taiwanese built factory here 20 years ago, they have overworked us, underpaid us, and even polluted our environment here. 
Many people have become sick because of the pollution. But these evil owners don't give it a shit. It's 2017 now, and we're no longer stupid. We want bullies to get out of Vietnam. Let's go. Let's find that bastard Pa Chen and teach him a lesson before he runs away. Bullies out! That's the sin! No, no, please don't hurt my son! So, I am in the future. Dora Bimon sent me to the year of 2017 to warn me what would happen if I don't change. No, I don't allow this to happen. I'm to save my son and my company. Dora Bimon, where are you? I know what I should do now. Dora Bimon! Welcome to Amy today with a special guest on our show. Mr. Paul Chen, who is the owner of the Chen's textile company. Good evening, Mr. Chen. Good evening. Your company had just won the title, the best company to work for in Vietnam. As a Taiwanese, how did you manage to achieve such a success? We've learned from the past that for a company to succeed, it must take the people and the environment into consideration. So since 20 years ago, we have been devoted to taking care of our employees and reducing our environmental impacts. Yes, your company has a long history of going green and treating the Vietnamese work as well. You even established a foundation to support your social causes and education of poor children. My question is, are these socially responsible practices increasing your running costs? Actually, no. Being socially responsible means our commitment to bring positive impact on the community. We think of the local people. We make decisions best for the environment. And then, more and more customers come to buy our products because they are proud to be part of the positive impact. With people, planet, and profit in mind, we will create a promising future. A future that we all like to live in. Thank you. 第四十五对导演题目是《Trends and Fortune》, 即时开始. Two Taiwanese teenagers, Tiny and Wendy, are playing a Monopoly game. This magical game will take them to whatever place their dice says. It's your turn, Wendy. Look, it's Thailand! For half an hour. I'm always interested in Thai culture. Such a I love! Come on, we should go. What the heck is this place? Help! Help! What's going on? Who is that? The school is haunted. I come here with my mom to get rid of this annoying ghost. Cool, I just be a ghost. Oh, here you are. I was looking for you. Mom, I was just by a ghost. But I defeated it. Oh my god. My classmates transferred to another school because of the ghost. What can we do to regain the school's reputation? Mm. Hey! We can use a chess car. It will tell us what to do. Right. No distance played for... No distance... Internet. Mm. We can establish a website together for communication. From your school to mine. Cool! We can check on the website to make foreign friends. Aiding abroad studying and home stay will also be great. It can provide several projects, and students only need to choose which they want. They can start a plan right away. Oh. But do we need help from the government? We can do it by ourselves. There is indeed someone with this skills in our school. Oh, Wendy. Yes? Are you good at computer? I can help. <gasps> Time's up! We must go! All right, this is our contact way. I will inform you as long as we're ready. See you next time! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! It's your turn! Watch me! Look, it's India! But just for 10 minutes. India? Our government are looking for a collaboration between Taiwan and India to establish economic bound. Oh, I love Bollywood. Wake up. Let's go. Hold the commands. 
Oh, hello. Welcome to Bangalore. Are you from China? No, we come from Taiwan. I'm Wendy and this is Tiny. Sorry, I'm Fashion and this is Lan Chao. Actually, we are not good with China. You know, some border problems. Wow, it's Lan Chao and Fashion from two idiots. I know your country. You have best hardware around the world. Our grandma are now pushing us to cooperate with Taiwan. Hardware and software are the two bases of 3C products. They think we need some chances to promote our industry. But there won't be any chances if we never innovate. Mm. Hello? OK, babe. Sorry, I need to go. Bye. 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 Hey, we can make our fortune different. Right. Brand new. Brand new. New brand. Right. Oh, yeah, we'll never promote our country. We can combine both of our advantage. And the new product we develop can be marketed throughout the world. Oh, well, 10 minutes up. We must go. Uh, OK, I will go suggest to my coworkers. Let's keep in contact. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. A few years later. Hey, long time no see. I saw you post many photos and share your experiences of studying in Taiwan. Yes, it becomes so easy to communicate through the website we built. I joined many activities in health. I also won a durian eating <laughs> competition in Thailand. No wonder you smell like a pet. <laughs> Wendy went to India and learned the software technique. Now, she's returning home. I'll miss you after you left. You and your friend did a great job on software programming. Thanks for your instruction. My colleagues also appreciate Taiwan's technique. We will work together. Yes, people love the combination of Taiwan and India. That's perfect. We, we built a beautiful future together. The46队表演题目是 New Southbound Policy Makes the World With Our Boundaries 计时开始 Look, have you ever seen a boy in our class? Well, that's under my impression Wait, you must be an exchange student mentioned by our principal this week Let's give him a warm welcome and make a small talk with him Okay Hello, my name is Kinka. How do you do? I know Bita. Where do you come from? I I we we the well. Excuse me. What did you just say? Venice? No, from we we learn. I couldn't really catch what you said. Do you speak English? Uh, sorry, uh, English. No, no worries. He has a good idea in my mind. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. One, two, three. Hi, Mom. Here I am. I just know that you guys can live a day without me. What's eating you this time? This boy is an exchange student. However, it seems a big problem for him to speak English fluently. Don't worry. You better understand what he says. Don't worry. I got the magic tool from the future. Here. Da -da 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 -da. Translation candy. Is it eatable? Of course. Once people eat the candy, they will rely on the capable of speaking the language they hear right off the bat. Why not let him eat some, and then we can figure everything out? Great idea. Come on, trust me. It does no harm for you to eat the candy. Just try it. Okay. Is everything going well? Wait, I can understand every word you say. English was all great to me, but now I can speak your language fluently. Okay, let's start over again. My name is Nobita. This is Kinka. She is Doraemon. So now, would you please tell us more about yourself? Hello guys, you can call me Dev. And I am the exchange student from Vietnam. Vietnam, cool. It's located in Southeast Asia, isn't it? By the way, how did you happen to come to Taiwan and study here? Have you guys heard about new South Spa policies passed by Executive Yuan of Taiwan? It has been promoted by the new government since last September. Not really. I remember hearing people talk about it on TV. However, I don't have a clear picture of it. Actually, 
I read the main idea of this policy on the internet. In CV class, the teacher taught us to achieve the mutual awareness of economic community with the nations of ASEAN, South Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. There are four primary aspects we can work on. Exactly, and there are cooperation of economic and trade, cultivation of professional talent with social sharing and regional link. Come on, guys. Why can I not understand what you two just say? <sighs> it is not surprising to find you have no idea about anything relating to academic performances or current issues. I bet you must be out to lunch most of the time while you are in class. Well, you know this is off my field. <laughs> In fact, I have been interested in Chinese culinary art since I was little, and running a Chinese restaurant of my own in Vietnam is my dream. However, I know nothing much about Taiwanese cuisine and Chinese dishes. Oh, I see. Thanks to New South Bomb Policy, you got the chance to come here and learn about our eating habits and catering culture. Does it make any difference if you just study those courses in Vietnam? If I were you, I couldn't imagine how hard it would be for me. No, Vita, you got to live and learn. There is no such thing as a free lunch compared with Taiwan. Vietnam is a developing country. New Southbound policy has just provided Tian a great opportunity pursuing higher education and knowledge. I believe you will be more competitive than those who have only pursued study in your home country. Due to New Southbound policy, the schools in Taiwan are encouraged to offer courses of Southeast and South Asian language learning, such as opening relax extracurricular clubs. So we are talking about the eliminations of boundaries between countries and the mutual development among nations as well, right? Well, I remember when I joined the Vietnamese Learning Club, it seems interesting and you were learning a number of three languages, so it's pretty cool. Are you serious? We all know that you have poor endurance, and you always give up what you play in halfway. Of course you can. I happen to be the teaching assistant in that club, and all the students are welcome to join us as long as we are fond of Vietnamese and our culture. Awesome. Actually, I have an idea. Why don't we three a translation candy as well and experience this mother language, Vietnamese? Great, let's do it. Okay. One for you. One for you. And one for myself. Mời anh thân chứ. Đã làm lại tiếng Việt đi. Chúng ta cùng tiếng Cang Tinh. Yên hay đi thôi. One, two, three. Thank you very much.